For those following my progress with the Coro Stars, uh, I have a total of 90 of these Coro Stars in my display. Now, shown here are 46 that are going through burn-in testing. Uh, one of the big questions I had was whether or not you could string large quantities of these together without problems. The theoretical limit within RS-45, which is what DMX and LOR protocols use, is 32 controllers for a single cable. Well, in this particular case, we've got 46, and then ultimately, as I mentioned, we'll have over 90. So, uh, I can say fairly confidently that the uh, controllers work great in large quantities, and actually, after doing some investigation, here's the DMX controller right here. You can see the control chips and the pick. On the back back here, we have a TI-485 chip, and after looking at some of the specs on it, it's actually quite a nice little uh, 45 chip. Uh, so they haven't scrimped, despite the fact that this is an actually very cheap controller, uh, on the design. So I think I can confidently say that in most cases, most people should have no problem running large quantities of uh, these DMX adapters on a single line because we're looking here at uh, several hundred feet of cable strung between each one of these with two splices per, per Corostar. So uh, let me flip off the lights so you can see about how bright they are. There are three LED modules per uh, star, so you've got a lot of LEDs here. Uh, shining over to the garage door, you can see it's quite bright up on the ceiling, which is white. So, very good quality modules.